Hi there, Extraordinary Thinkers. Good to have you back. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, we are doing a series right now, uh, 12 simple ways that you can use to create more happiness in your life. And we are going to talk about the fifth way that I've found in my 42 years of being a coach that is one of the most important ways, but something that people kind of have to work up to, but it's very powerful. So before I get going, I just want to remind you that if you are enjoying this channel, please go down and hit the subscribe and click the little bell because that way you'll get notified. If you don't click that bell, you're not going to get notified when new videos go up. They usually go up on Sunday. That's our schedule. But I do throughout the week sometimes put more up that are um, smaller videos. Sometimes it's affirmations or motivation or inspiration or something like that. But please do that because we really want to build this channel and if we don't have the subscriptions, even though we have thousands and thousands of views, if we don't have the subscriptions, it's very hard to, to grow the channel. What I want to say about that is don't subscribe to this channel if two days later or the next day or the next hour you're just going to go and unsubscribe. Just don't do that because that doesn't help anybody. And some people have a habit of doing that. <laughs> and I, I've actually had them tell me, oh, I'm going to subscribe today, but I'll probably unsubscribe tomorrow. And I go, no, just don't, please don't do it. <laughs> You're not doing anybody any favors, me or you. So no. So this series is very important. So what I'm going to suggest you do is if this is the first one you've watched, go back and watch some of the other videos. Like I said, this is uh, going to be number five in the series and go back and watch the other ones after this also at the end I'll put up some videos that will relate and I may even put some of those other ones up there to make it very easy for you to do that so this one's super super important let me just say that first I'm using my cheat sheet so that I don't miss anything okay so let's move forward so this is something this lesson is something I want you to really take strong heat of in fact just start taking notes if you have a pencil and paper just start taking notes so one of the things that creates unhappiness is that people allow someone else or a moment in time to define who they are and how they behave in life now that's kind of crazy Bill. If you really think about that, you're just giving your power away when you do that. So can you be happy, truly happy, if you're going to keep giving your power away? You can't. You just can't. So what I'm going to say that I really want you to hear and this is of course based on extraordinary thinking which is my work of the last 40 plus years you define you or life defines you and you get to choose so you define you or life defines you now i'll give you a, a personal example and some of you might have watched some of my other videos about my past my my family situation but had i allowed my family situation the dysfunction of the family that i grew up in to define who i was and I temporarily did that. <laughs> it was like insanity, but it didn't work. And I realized, oh, this isn't going to work. So if I had allowed my family to define me in the way that they believed they needed to define me for my own good, I never could have done anything that I've done in my life. Anything at all. Absolutely zilch, nada. I couldn't have done anything. I was just lucky that I ended up encountering someone in my life, luckily in my early teens, who saw a light in me, the first person to ever see that, and made sure that I knew that he saw that light. Um, I was raised to believe that I was just a poor unfortunate soul, you know, that poor girl kind of thing, like she's just never going to do well in life. and and a lot of other things that I was ugly and all kinds of things you know uh, one of my aunts would say oh it's it's unfortunate that that Dixie Lee is so homely 
which Dixie Lee is my given name, is so, it's so unfortunate she's so homely. If I would have allowed that to define me, and I would have had believed that about myself, like I said, I temporarily did, and it was really terrible. I couldn't, I couldn't have moved forward. I couldn't have been happy. And when I was hearing all this stuff, I was definitely not finding any happiness. I really wasn't. Um, at this point in my life, I don't think any of my siblings even speak to me that I'm aware of or speak about me. I probably don't even ever get mentioned anymore, but I had to make a choice between me or them because I realized that was abuse. They didn't mean to be doing it as abuse, but it was. It was just their MO. So I had to define me and not let life define me. And you have to do the same thing. Now my situation was extreme. Yours may not be. But you have to define who you are and what you are. If you don't know, I do suggest you get this little book that I wrote for you, Love to Beyond Compare, that will absolutely 100% explain to you who and what you truly are beyond all the lies you've ever been told. You heard me right. Beyond all of the lies you've ever been told. That little book is extremely powerful. This lesson is extremely powerful. So when I say that you define you or life defines you, that's across the board. And what we see in our society is people who have, say, for instance, a job. And you say, so what do you do? The first thing they tell you is the job they do. That's just one thing that they do. But that defines them. And then when they don't have the job anymore, I can't tell you how many men have come into my counseling office when I was a therapist and sat down in front of me and told me that they hate retirement because they're nobody now. What an illusion. What a grand, grand illusion. Why do they have that illusion and delusion? Because they allowed the job to define who they are. They allowed society to define who they are. I have a whole family that bases everybody's worth and value on the job that they have. I, I, I was a top therapist for many years. Didn't mean anything to them because they don't believe therapy is important. They don't believe coaching is important. They don't believe what I'm doing right here and right now with you is important. I think it's vital. So I had no value. No value. Was, I still don't have any value <laughs> for them. But that's about them and not me. Now, again, that's an extreme example, but so many of you have these examples. I hear about them. <laughs> I get emails. I hear these things where I just go, oh my gosh. You'd never know that by looking at the person, that that's what they've gone through. And it's kind of tragic. And at the same time, it's just a life lesson. So please learn your lesson and allow you to define you. Don't allow life to define you. Don't allow your emotions to define you. They're just teachers. They're just saying, here's what you have now, what do you want? That's all. You get to choose what you want your life to look like. Now, some of you know I work with Bob Proctor. I'm a coach for Bob Proctor. He was one of my earliest mentors. If you go on to my blog site, you'll read about that. But that's one thing he and I really do agree upon. You do get to choose. You're not just like thrown into this thing and whatever happens, happens. That's a way that life defines you when you think that way. And you can't be happy that way. Because it's sort of like whatever comes down the pike, that's, you know, you're on the boat. You're just going, <laughs> going along with it. And you're not actually making any real decisions for yourself. So this is very, very, very powerful. It seems very simple. And I do say it's simple on one hand. But on the other hand, this is a game changer. So. If you are watching this channel, it's probably because some part of you, some element in you, knows that you are an extraordinary being. Now, you may have never really understood that. You might not have ever been told that. I wasn't for the longest time. And like I said, one person showed up in my life and looked me in the eye one day and said, you are the most amazing human being I have ever met. And I thought, me? <laughs> like, huh? Like, is he on crack? Like, what the hell is he talking about? And he explained to me 
things about myself, the light that he saw in me that no one had ever said to me before. Now he's still one of my best friends in life. We're still really super close. And he still believes that. I'm going to be 66 tomorrow and he still believes that about me. So sometimes it just takes somebody to come along and wake you up. Maybe I'm that somebody for you. Maybe you're watching this so that I can wake you up so that you can understand you are so beyond amazing there's no words for it. I say in my book that if we could ever find a word to define you I believe the whole world would shake when it was spoken. Like could be knocked off our axis is so so amazing. But most people do not own that. Most people don't even know it. So they allow life to define them they, they kind of go along sometimes even till their death and they kind of live a false life. I've had so many people that I've dealt with that are in my age group that say, well, I've never really been happy, but I think that's just the way life is. That's a bunch of bull. <laughs> that's just bunk, bunk, bunk on top of bunk. So if you're struggling with any of this, if you need some help, I am a coach. I am a certified coach and I got degrees in the whole thing. But... <laughs> I've done this work for 42 years. There's not much I haven't seen or heard. And if you do need help, go down and all my contact information is down below or go to leechrevathan.com, which is down below. Click the website and go in and go to the contact form and send me a note and tell me what you're dealing with. And if you do need a coach, then let's talk about that. Now, I'll tell you, honestly, I don't take everybody. I just don't. I have some real clear, clear rules about what I do when I'm working with people and if I have any inkling that somebody's not going to do the work I'm not I'm not going to be there but if you are serious about understanding your extraordinary self meeting some of your goals then yeah talk to me uh, I'll also put some information down there that you can kind of tap into I do some zoom calls and things you might be interested in but do get the book and if you don't want to get the book, maybe you like audiobooks better. Maybe you like to listen in your car to audiobooks or something like that. The audiobook is unbelievably, I, I don't have words for it. The people who have gotten the book don't have words for it. One of the people who um, contacted me the other day said she listens to it and she just sits there and cries because it's hitting her heart so deeply. And she's finally understanding what she's really about. And she sent me a note and she said, I cried for two hours because I realized how amazing I am. And no one's ever told me that I'm that, that I'm loved that deeply. No one's ever told me and probably no one's told you. So please get that. And in the comments below, just let me know you're here. If you did feel you got value for your time here, please let me know that. So I'm putting up these videos for you here. I always put up two videos at the end, that's my little magic trick, so that you have another place to go to after this video that ties into this video. Every video I do has a tie into it. So I hope you enjoyed this. There will be more in this series. There's 12 videos in this series. This is number five. And I hope you'll come back and pay attention to the rest of it. And yes, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Bye-bye. See you next time. Stay safe.